my god. That's just what I was thinking. I telephoned this place thinking you might have been idiotic enough to come back here, but of course the staff are about as useful as a chocolate teapot. You came all this way to help me. I've had absolutely no sleep. How have you been? Martin. We need to get you a passport. My God, I don't know how you dare show your face around here. I beg your pardon? You know what he means. After your mucky bit of scouse roof robbed us all blind, I wouldn't be surprised if you're part of the scam. I'm as much a victim of all this as you are, probably more so. I've got you sussed. You hang around here for another day to make it look as if you had nought to do with it. But come tomorrow, you'll be on a yacht in the middle of the med, divvying up the spoils. <laughs> I hardly think there'll be much to divvy up stealing from these people. You keep your nose out. And another thing you... Well, 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 look who it is. I beg your pardon? Come on, Kate, let's go. It gets rid of one old slapper and you come crawling back while the sheets are still warm. Oh, forget it, Madge. Let's go get Wait a somewhere. minute. Now listen to me, old woman. Apart from the fact that I fail to see what any of this has to do with you, you obviously still think you can motorise yourself around this fly-blown cesspit, spitting venom like some kind of vicious, fire-damaged paraplegic. Well, let me assure you, if you come anywhere near me for the duration of my mercifully short trip here, so help me God, I will drag you off that council go-kart, rip off your head, and p*** in your pipes. Do I make myself clear? I'll take that as a yes. Martin? <laughs> This is very authentic. Yes, isn't it wonderful? It really is. Here's to us. I mean, to all of us. Martin, I'm sorry. I don't think I can stay. Kate, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I, I just can't do this. Love. I'm not playing happy families with a husband I've been separated from for eight months. Whilst trying to converse with a mother-in-law who never listens to a word anyone says. Ah, oh, flamenco! Oh my God, that's just what I was thinking.